that mockingbird don't sing Papa gonna buy you a diamond ring Say darling, say New York, which is uh, western New York, a bit west north of New York City. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But there's a, a lot of old time American fiddle banjo music that comes out of that area. For and, some uh, reason. For some random reason. We like to say it's the top of the Appalachian Mountains. Mm -hmm. um, it really is, it, actually. It is really we are just the, the tippy top. We are the absolute tip of the Appalachians. Yeah. yeah. If you look from Mars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's slightly hopeful, but anyway. Um, we're going to play an old fiddle tune called Five Miles to Town. Good dance tune. Yeah, that's true.
so glad you're enjoying that. All right, so um, let's do some original stuff too. Yeah, huh? let's All do right. that. We did the last two we did were traditional tunes, and uh, we're gonna do one uh, that's the title track to the CD that we've made most recently. It's called Nowhere in Time. <laughs>
Yeah, thank you. I was actually commissioned to write that song. It's the first song I've ever been commissioned to write. And it was at a time in my life when I was having a hard time writing songs. And uh, this particular organization approached me and wanted me to write a song in two weeks about people over 50 reinventing their lives. And it was the AARP. <laughs> and they asked me to write a song for them, and they offered to pay me in advance, which just happened to be like two weeks before Christmas. And I was broke, I'll tell you what. Like, I wanted to go buy a bunch of presents for my kids, and I was kind of like, mm, nah, you know, whatever. And all of a sudden, I had this opportunity, but, and it was very difficult to try to write a song in two weeks about something, you know. They wanted me to, like, write something about life in a hundred years from now and a hundred years before, and about people over 50 reinventing their lives, and I'm like, Definitely, I can do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, I am so on it, you know. But it was like literally like the day before we had to go in and record the song that I realized I'm not getting anywhere. I'm going nowhere. I ain't going no. I ain't going no. That's it, you know. Like, that's the song, you know. So that's, that's where that one came from. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> One of the songwriters that we really love that influences the songs that we write and the music that we make is uh, Towns Van Zandt. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, we'd like to do a song of his and um, dedicate it to uh, one of the people who's cooking tonight uh, because they were very excited about that song. So we'll get Rosie to sing it for you. It's called, uh, what is it really called? Close Your Eyes Open. Be there in the morning? Yeah. The morning? Is that what it's called? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah. There's no stronger wind than the one that blows down lonesome railroad line. No prettier sight than looking back at a town you left behind. There's nothing that's as real as the love that's in my mind. Close your eyes, I'll be here in the morning. Close your eyes, I'll be here for a while. There's lots of things along the road I'd surely like to see. I'd like to lean into the wind and tell myself I'm free. But your softest whispers louder than Close your eyes, I'll be here in the morning. Close your eyes, I'll be here for a while. Thank you. 
makes you want to go home. It does. That's a good thing when the song makes you want to go home. Yep. Start this one off. It's a great fiddle tune, right? We're doing yeah. Glory in the Meeting House? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's a fiddle tune that uh, was recorded in, of Luther Strong. It was recorded in prison, or in jail anyway, uh, by Alan Lomax. He went down to Hazard, Kentucky to, to find uh, this particular fiddle player, and it was kind of hard to find him until he looked in jail. <laughs> and, uh, he was able to bring him in a fiddle into jail, which is hard to do these days. So. <laughs> years ago it's kind of a it's a conversation and a tribute uh, to someone who I loved that passed away and so it's kind of like uh, the two different vocal parts of the song are from perspectives of myself and this person so it's called I'm with you always Thank you. 
I am with you always, though you cannot see. I hold your hand from the other side, the circle is complete. not so new, but feels new still to me. I still like all the songs, so it's a little new. Um, this is one I wrote. Uh, it's a waltz, and it's a love song, and I wrote it for a gal who left uh, New York uh, that I was very much entangled with, and she moved out here to California and uh, tried to woo her back by writing her a song. Um, 
from her perspective about what a great guy I am. <laughs> it kind of worked. Kind of. Yeah, kind of worked. She's now halfway. Yeah, she's halfway, here you know. And New York. So, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. getting there. She's in Colorado. I'm going to try to get her to Kansas City at least. Yeah. <laughs> That's the next song. You know? Called The Honeybee. The Honeybee.
after a while and I forget to tell them that I'm pregnant and they're kind of like oh yeah it's great to see you uh, you know they're kind of unclear you know you really just can't ask somebody if they're pregnant most of the time I'm almost to that point where it could be nothing else but uh, almost have you anyway. tried playing fiddle like this yet no but I'm, it could be fun. it'll be interesting the bow might get I might right there I well, might be getting in the way of a oh. belly at some point. Oh. We'll see. Cool. I think a guitar would be easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm super excited for Rosie. I'll tell you what. I'm having a baby. Very cool. Me too. We're gonna play one more. Uh, it's, it's a set of two songs, two tunes, really, uh, and then we're gonna take a short break and hang out and visit a little bit. So, um, the first one's an old, old, uh, old Lexington, Virginia uh, dance tune with a few words that don't make much sense, but. <laughs> to the Lord that had never been born. 
Never to have kissed your red rosy lips, heard your lying tongue, heard your lying tongue. <laughs>
Going up on a mountain, there I'll take my stand. Going up on a mountain, there I'll take my stand. With a pistol in my pocket and a rifle in my hand, I've been all around the world.
my body Not connected to my soul I am floating right beside you Though you touch me, I am alone I'm alone, I'm alone Though you touch me, I am alone
Yeah. I'm getting hungry, are you? Hungry. <laughs> sure. <laughs> bring it down here for a minute and um, sing a song that we learned from our friend Dirk Powell who wrote this next one. It's called Waterbound. <coughs> and I was uh, talking to some lovely ladies over the break and uh, just talking about the, um, the, the similarity between, you know, I'm with you always kind of uh, speaking to somebody uh, after they've passed and also just kind of speaking to the little one that's inside my oh, belly right now. Cool. Um, and uh, this next song, Waterbound, kind of represents that for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waterbound. Waterbound. Oh. Cool. I like no, that. New dimension. You know, there's definitely a, a, there's, there's a similarity between those two states of being. Transitions. And, yeah. In and out of this world. Right. right. Jeez, I didn't know you were going to get so deep. <laughs> so, right. Right? There you go. Uh. I got a lot to learn.
the stars were shining bright A storm come up and the trees come down I'll tell you boys I was water bound Water bound on a stranger shore The river rising to my door They carried my home to the field below Crazy good drawings going on here. Oops, sorry. No, I didn't see anything. I just We're going to do a couple more for you here. Thank you so much for having us here at the bar. David and Ellen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right there. Thank you. The moving van's arriving in two days. <laughs> All 11 of my kids are coming. In. <laughs> there we go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, we do really appreciate it. I, um, it's just, it's the best way for us to play music um, in a house, you know, in a home. Um, that's where the music is supposed to be played. And 
Um, and I also know how much it, you know, it takes to put these on. So I really do appreciate you all being here. And, and thank you, David and Ellen, for, for having us yeah. here well, as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do a gruesome train song here. Yeah, we already hung one person in there. Might as well have a good train wreck. Old school entertainment here. That's there right. We go. So Casey Jones was driving one train. Everybody knows about him because he was like a hero of some kind. But no one ever talks about the guy that ran into him that was going the wrong <laughs> way. So that happens to be this guy Reuben, who was. Got a little bit high at the time, maybe. And we call it fake lore. Fake lore. I'm making it up as I go like along. <laughs> anyway, yeah, fake news. So this is called Ruben's Train. One, two, Got 
one more, huh? Yeah. Okay, we're going to leave you with one. It's a, a last original one we have for you tonight called Ribbons and Bows. <laughs> and it's about being all together with people you love and enjoying the real deal. So <laughs> at least that's what inspired it. So. We do have some CDs for sale at the back of the room, and I hope we can all have some chili and cornbread together. Nice. Very exciting. So please stick around.
summer skies.
If you needed me, I would come to you. I'd swim the seas for to ease your pain. I'd swim.